Bloody hell. Where's he kept that hidden? I'm, I'm surprised as much as what you are with that goal. That was in training. That was on the opening day at St. James's Park. So, Henri Savi has left the club. Um, and it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's an awful, awful signing. One of Graham Carr's signing in January. And uh, Cedar Dumbia was another one as well. So, the lads only made four appearances. It's it's just an awful buy. Five, you still got you still got five year left to run on his contract, you know, because he signed a five and a half year deal in January. He's still got five years. So I've loaned him out. I probably I would have to. I don't like seeing all of these players being loaned out. Newcastle players being loaned out left, right, and centre because we've got numerous now. We've got Young, we've got Tauvin, we've got Savé. Players who should not be loaned out. You know, they're in like the mid twenties pushing on. These players should not be loaned out. We should command a fee for these. I can get why Mbappé's been loaned out because he's young, you know. I can totally get that. But why can't we get fees for these players? I think Sissoko will follow suit, you know. If Newcastle don't, Newcastle don't find a buyer for Sissoko, I think we'll panic. And I think we'll loan him out. God, I'm trying not to rant on. <laughs> it's been a while since I ranted. Um, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. So, Newcastle briefly, and I'm talking briefly, put it on their website. A very short statement. It was even smaller than the Yamat one. What it said, Newcastle midfielder Henri Savi has joined French club Saint Etienne on the loan until the end of the season. The nine cap Senegal international joined the Magpies in January from Bordeaux, but has just made four appearances to date with only two of those starts. Savi last featured for United at the start of February, where he stepped off the substitute bench for the final minute of the home victory over West Brom. The 25-year-old will, will now hop back to league earn for the remainder of the season. Right. So really brief for Newcastle. Um, like I said, I'm going to go back to the Graham Carr thing. I mean, he's got, don't get me wrong, Graham Carr has got some good buys, but he's got some shockers in there as well. And this is just another key example of somebody sitting on 30, 40 grand a week, not kicking a ball. Now, some people say, oh, well, Steve McLaren signed him. He didn't. Steve McLaren didn't sign him. It was Graham Carr. Steve McLaren barely picked him. And if you don't get picked by Steve McLaren, you must be fucking shite. Rafa come in. Rafa didn't pick him at all. And he hasn't at all this season. So is he that bad? Really, is he that bad? Because he was a star at Bordeaux. And now the league earns not as good as the Premier League. I'm not sticking up for him. I'm not. But he's a Senegalese international. He must be must be something in his locker that he's got for, for Newcastle, first of all, to go and buy him. And secondly, being international. But it, it just hasn't worked out. The thing is with me, with Savi, and all the other players that I mentioned with the loans, why, why can't we command a fee? Why can't we? I know we might not get like say ten million for a player or whatever, um, but why can't we get installments? So Savé is only going to be what three to four million tops best. Why can't we just get installments of saying it? Yeah, can't afford it. Half a million every couple of months, something like that, or, or every three months. Just get them off our books. That's the positive though. We've got them off the wage structure as well. So I suppose that's a that's a positive at least. Um, get them out of the club. Get him out of the club. Hopefully, seeing it in the end sooner rather than later. Sign him because he's fucking shite. I've been Liam on behalf of Newcastle's Fans TV. See you later.